This video is this video is this video is video. This video is this 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 Sponsored. 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 Hello and welcome to Justin Our Paid Promotion, where we give an honest and humorous review of popular sponsorships on the platform. Today we'll be looking at Magic Spoon. Everything in this video is paid out of pocket, so please do consider liking and subscribing. Okay then, um, anyway, Magic Spoon is a cereal brand that was started in 2019. It was founded by Gabby Lewis and Greg Switz. Which, side note, they really butcher themselves on their own website. Their whole deal is that they make cereal in the style of popular mascot cereals, but using milk proteins in the Sweden or Adelus to give it a higher protein count and technically no grams of sugar. They're a big sponsorship over on TikTok and Instagram, but they've also sponsored many creators on YouTube, specifically in the cooking side of the platform, which makes them a perfect contender for today's video. Now, I will say I have enjoyed my fair amount of breakfast cereals in my youth, but I don't really eat them anymore because of... Um... Certain reasons? So I understand why someone would want to find an alternative to those cereals. Now compared to conventional cereals, Magic Spoon prides itself on that really supports the word free. It's gluten-free, grain-free, wheat-free, soy-free, and I would like to say pain-free if I didn't have to look at the price tag. So $10 a box is a lot of money. Now I understand the cost of production is higher when working with ingredients that won't destroy your immune system. But ten dollars a box! Each one only holds about seven ounces, which really shows these inner bags barely have anything in them. I don't know what has to do with my preconditioning to eating cereal out of those big family sized boxes, but ten dollars! Now, speaking of these boxes, th th they're alright, I guess. They're derivative of that modern corporate cell that's been popular for the past few years now. Even though most of them are pretty generic, I will say some of them are really well designed. And some of them are just an eyesore. They also have these games on the back of them. Now you can be a normal person and actually do these in the correct manner. Or you can do what I did and use it as a coping mechanism to release your frustration. Now the classic lineup of Magic Spoon consists of fruity, frosted, cocoa, peanut butter, blueberry muffin, and cinnamon roll. But I was also able to pick up maple waffle, birthday cake, and honey nut off their website. However, Magic Spoon also does these limited time seasonal flavors, which unfortunately means I wasn't able to get every single one of them, but I was able to pick up pumpkin spice and frosted cookies for this review, leading to a total of $110. And I also picked up the Magic Spoon spoon and bowl at an extra $15 to that total. I thought the spoon was going to be cheap plastic, but I was actually shocked that it's made out of stainless steel, but I was kind of disappointed by the bowl. I thought it was going to be one of those cool glass ones you see sometimes, but it turns out just to be plastic. Anyway, let's get to the main point of this video. How does Magic Spoon actually taste? It's not that good. Yeah, I really have to like sweetener because every flavor to some degree tastes like those colorful sugar substitutes you find at restaurants. Berry reminded me of those great value or knockoff cereals you see at places like at Walmart or Aldi, where it kinda tastes like the original. It, like kind of. Frosted I thought was just gonna be frosted flakes, but when actually eating it, it reminded me of the company Hostess for some reason, and I do mean that in a bad way. Peanut butter on itself is okay, but when you add milk to it, it gets grosser the longer it stays in it. Cinnamon roll reminded me of those cinnamon twists from Taco Bell, but somehow more drier and even greasier. But I will give credit where credit is due. Blueberry muffin actually smells like a traditional fruited cereal. It doesn't taste like one, in fact it doesn't taste like anything at all, but at least it smells like one. Cocoa was f***ing terrible. I'm not a big fan of chocolate in general, so I knew I wasn't going to love this, but I didn't expect burnt rubber to be a real flavor that people would actually buy and eat. Birthday cake and sugar cookie both tasted like those really cheap frosting packets used for cupcakes, and they did not disappoint in how bad they were to eat. Pumpkin spice had a really subtle flavor to it, but did remind me of those pumpkin spice lattes. 
It smells really good, but doesn't really have a strong flavor when actually eating it. Honey Nut, I thought was just gonna be a straight ripoff of Honey Nut Cheerios, but it actually had a more unique flavor to it, which was actually pretty decent. Maple Waffle, actually pretty good. Had this really strong syrup flavor to it that actually tasted really sweet, and not just in the stevia type of way. I actually wouldn't mind eating another bowl of this. I would definitely put this one at first, followed by Honey Nut, Pumpkin Spice, Peanut Butter, Fruity, Blueberry Muffin, Frosted, Birthday Cake, Cinnamon Roll, Sugar Cookie, and then lastly, Cocoa. And that's all the flavors of Magic Spoon. Now overall, Magic Spoon wasn't the greatest experience. <laughs> yeah, Magic Spoon also has these cereal bars called Magic Spoon Treats. Consisting of two flavors, Marshmallow and Chocolatey Peanut Butter. The marshmallow one isn't terrible, but continues that trend of that sticky sweetener aftertaste. But the peanut butter one, not that bad. I think it's just because of how good peanut butter and chocolate is together. It overwhelms that sweetener aftertaste. And even as someone who doesn't like chocolate, it's not a terrible option. If you don't mind spending $45 for a pack of four. Yeah, Magic Spoon wasn't the greatest experience. Not a completely terrible one, but not worth the $175 to try it. I'll give it some merit for the high protein count, but that taste, man, it's just straight sweetener, which I can understand that could be to some people's liking, but personally, I think it ruins the experience of eating it, especially the first thing in the morning. I think if you are curious to try Magic Spoon, go for Maple Waffle and Honey Nut. Those two are the only ones I would consider to taste pretty good, same with the peanut butter treats, but the rest can be skipped out on. So overall, with Magic Spoon, a couple of flavors are okay. The rest just taste like sticky sweetener, Definitely not worth the price, D tier. Now what am I gonna do with all the cereal?